So hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a short video. Yes, a short video on my computer, which I've never done before. But, um, if my voice is kind of small, put it on max. Put your phone sound on max. Because, well, my microphone, I don't have that kind of fancy microphone. So I basically just use the microphone from my... Um, headset like not the little tiny earphones and shit but the gaming headset and I don't have a mic because well I'm still 14 and I don't have purpose in buying a microphone because um yes I'm 14 secondly I spend my money on blitz Oh shit. Haha. <laughs> um. Yes. Maybe, maybe not. I'm still uploading this. The Rudy review. Um. Yes, I'm still waiting for this thing to upload. Um. Then. Yes. Now. I'll be doing a short tutorial on how to install World of Tanks Blitz mods. Now before we get into the mod, I mean before we get into the recording, I mean wait shit, before we get into the installation process oh shit um nope it's still there okay, I was kinda scared about that, um so yeah before we get into the download process and all that shit, first I want to say that not all these mods are legal. Now, the legal mods are mods which are uh, which are skin mods that show the tank compo components and the uh, position of the crew members. So it's basically kind of a cheaty skin mod. But if your skin mod is just for camouflage and that shit, that's an okay. You can have sight mods which just which just um, mess around with the design of your crosshairs and shit. You can have sound packs which changes the in-game sounds, like um, the one I was use the one I'm still using is a British sound pack, British crew sound pack for my tanks. And I'm using HD sounds for my tanks when they fire guns fire their guns and shit. Um, I haven't gotten the one where bouncing shells off your tanks, I mean the sounds of that are HD. And I think I'm messing up my English over here. So what you want to do is go to, well this is for Steam users, not, not Android, iOS or Apple users. I am for iOS users, I mean iOS devices like mobile devices of course, Apple, m mobile Apple devices. Um, you have, to, you have to jailbreak your device to do this, but I don't want to. It's a piss off. So, what you want to go, what the website you want to go to is Blitz. Either it's blitzworldoftanks.com, which is this. Go to this one, or go to tanksmods.com. This is the same website, so yeah, you go here. Now, the only mod you can't download right now, which is obvious, I mean, like, I can't really find the mod. I mean, I can't see. Um, I don't, I mean, wait, first, I don't know why this cannot be downloaded, but it's specifically for the hangar mods, which you can't download. Um, skin mods, yes, it's possible, but I'm just too lazy to do that. Um, the effects coming from the vents there in your garage um... It, I tried doing that, it actually got rid of the smoke that was coming out of the vents um... Uh, which was kind of weird so the first two mods I'm gonna try out the first two mods I'm gonna try out on the um... St on steam is the contour icon mod and the white dead tanks mod um... so before you download it what you want to do for Windows users, go to local disk C, locate program files times 86, open that, 
and find Steam. This is if you have Steam downloaded, not Windows 10, okay? This is for Windows 7 to 8 users that are using Steam. Um, and they have the game inside right now. Um, you can only obtain Blitz for Steam um, during the beta events. Um, so, and then, once you're in Steam file, you want to go and locate um, Steam apps. Go to common and locate. Why do I still have this shit? I don't have this game anymore. No, say goodbye. Okay. I don't play heroes in general anymore. Goodbye. Um, Warface. I don't even play that. Um, go to World of Tanks Blitz. Data. Then it'll lead you here. And if you're not a lazy bitch, open another file explorer and have it waiting at the download section. But for me, I'm just gonna directly go to the download section. And for this, first, uh, you um, this is for the white dead tanks mod. Go here. And as this is um, for World of Tanks Blitz on Android. Yes, this is what they tell us. Um, I would say no, so I'll just show you guys how to do it. If the link actually gets me downloading the file. Okay, um, the download file is starting. I'd rather redirect to counter icons. Hmm. I will show you guys that the mod works right after this. Okay. Or, I will show you guys that these mods actually work in the next um, in the next video, which will be continuing part of this because I'm using a regular screen recorder. So once you have that downloaded, go to the download section, find the file, and you need to have WinRAR or 7-Zip for this, or your um, stock Microsoft extractor. Click to either extract this, extract here, I mean extract, the, extract to, blah blah blah, um, extract here or extract files, um, anything you can do it. Um, okay, once it's extracted, go here. Go look for data, 3D, tanks. Um, now this is all of the uh, stuff inside. Now what you want to do is click on data. Um, go to 3D, cut, and then go back to um, this. And once it's at 3D, um, you paste it here. And then, replace the file and destination. That's already replaced. This is the White Dead Tanks mod. You'll see it in the next video. Because I'm using a casual, regular screen recorder, iSpring. And we'll be using OBS for later. Why the hell is it 32-bit? I still don't get it. And now we're going to download the contour mods. Which I want to do. Well, how to do this, um, just match up the mod file, I mean the name of the file, and just wait for this to finish, yeah? One hour and seven minutes, and it's 17... Why does it actually process while it's still uploading? Translations, blah, standard YouTube license. Select one. Allow M. 
notify subscribers. Enable age restriction. Hell no. <laughs> Still downloading file. And I swear I do play Minecraft, but not that much. I might show you guys a Starbound tutorial for mods. Um, yeah, that'll be later. It's very simple, basically. I can tell you guys how. I suck at this game. I don't really suck at this game. Well, I I fail in this game. I broke it. I downloaded maps for this game and took the shit from there or went to open servers where I can spawn in items. <laughs> I'm, I do, I'm not really a legit player. Culture mods. Um... Fire mod, that's for the exhaust. Now, um, after an update on Steam, after the game updates, I believe they will reset all the files and you will have to actually recopy all of these files in. So, if you really want to keep the mods in, don't forget to, well, keep the files that you downloaded instead of you having to download it yourself again, which is a bitch to do. So, keep the files in a um, folder. Like, for example, I have a folder only for installers. So, yeah, make sure you have a folder ready. That does not contain a virus. What a bitch. The file has downloaded. Okay, now do the same process extract the file. Okay. Go here. Go look for data. GFX and GFX2. Cut it all. Or copy it if you prefer. Which I'm just gonna do. Copy. Go to the World of Tanks folders and paste it here. Place files and destination. Now, there you go. So, that's a the tutorial part. Now, the mods that don't work are mm, tank skins actually work, but since they have camouflage, I don't find the point of using that. Um, Helsing skin for the IS6. Now, what I mean by hangar mods not working is, look at this. Um, they have this, hangar on base. Any hangar mods I've tried. Or this, for example. This is the one I actually want to get. Um, yes, it doesn't actually work. So, you click the link. It redirects you to nothing found. That's sad. So, I hope they fix that. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't for more tutorial videos. And more tank reviews and maybe mobile games and shit or I might start recording PC games who knows so again I will see you guys in the next one